Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Blood and welcome back to my follow-up for Settlement Showcase series and this time we are here at Echo Lake Lumber. So let's start off with uh, the defense turrets, spawn points. So there are... I think there's actually one. Yeah, there's surprisingly only one spawn point here at Echo Lake Lumber and it is somewhere roughly in here. There are enemies that spawn over there but I'm not gonna go check that out. I think it's mostly ghouls. Um, there are some Yao Guai and I would assume gulpers and other stuff that can spawn and attack, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, well, yeah, once I learned that there was only one enemy spawn point here, I was actually really surprised because... <laughs> My kids ain't gonna believe the stories about you. Okay, because it's a rather large settlement. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, there's not really much here. Uh, says that I wish we could do something with these buildings here. Because they're just... Ooh, that's not even lock, unlocked. Because you just they just sit here empty and you, you can't do anything with them. I wish you could. It's really unfortunate. Um, yeah, might as well just... Do the tour because there's not much here. So, um, oh, I do have a junkyard dog here. Who is it? Oh, it's the black lab. Okay. So, we'd have a residential guard dog. Um, farm, we got melons, mute fruit, corn, and razor grain. There was like an out, there was like a frame for like a barn here. I think I probably would have liked to have used it, but. I don't know, just it would have been simpler to get rid of it. Um, there are these logging stations. I don't know what really to call them, but they go all throughout the entire settlement. So I just left it alone because it's part of the history of the settlement. I do have the 40 water here because uh, so there's already existing water. I'm going to put a purifier there. Yeah, not much to do here. Um, yeah, it's kind of... I don't know. I like it because it's really big, but at the same time, like... Unless you have a ton of settlers, you're not going to be able to do much with it. But, oh well. Alright, so if we move inside... We got... Well, let's move from the bottom. So I did the same thing. It's like in the visitor center. A bunch of bunk beds for... All my settlers to sleep in during the night. This is delicious. And then if we move upstairs, we got our small market, general clothing, and doctor, etc. Clothing. And then here we got the food. Um, I got my population settlement software, soft soda fountain from Vault Tech. Then we got our barkeep. It's dangerous, okay? Your lip color is really obnoxious. I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> so... I don't think I... Mm, no, yeah, I'm aware that there's a giant hole here. I tried to patch it up, but it eh, didn't really work. There's a lot of patchwork that needed to be done at this settlement. Um, I tried the best I could with it. I'm trying to... Str like, struggling with the... Uh, scaffolding and everything else so Not on time. then we move up here we got the phoropter we got a barber Take it one day at a time. and that is about it I wanted to do some stuff here I did manage to do some re-roofing but um it's really hard <laughs> unless you're gonna play with mods it's extremely difficult but uh other than that Oh, that's right. There was this giant hole here. <clears throat> but I was able to patch it up with the Slocum's Joe kit. Work tile set. And same thing here. Yeah, I, I'm not going to do a night tour because it's otherwise Don't more or less the same. Uh... Yeah, and there's like no lighting outside, so. 
That's it for Echo Lake Lumber. <laughs> kind of a quick and easy tour, so nothing too extravagant. We got a few scrapping stations. I might have forgotten to point that out. Um, one there. I thought there was another one back here. I'm probably wrong. And then there should be one right here. So yeah, that's going to do it for Echo Lake Lumber tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video and stay in tune with the rest of the series, which is only one left, and that is my player home in Nuka World. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button for the last episode of this series. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll get you guys next time.